So now that we've got our boxes on each side, so we did these together, we did these on our own, there's a few other things I wanted to show you. So you can do boxes anywhere on the page. So even if you wanted to have maybe like a short flat box here, this works the same way. So I would draw my flat side that I'm seeing, so that's facing me. And then I double check the corners again. This one can go. This one can go. This one would cut through, so I'm leaving that alone. This one would also cut through, so I'm leaving that alone. So I'm just going to see the side and the top. So once I've got that done, now I can go ahead and close it off. And I'm just going to see the side and the top. So it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't have to be just the two examples we did. They can be from any angle. Another thing that you can do is you can do different shapes. So if you want to do something different like a triangle, let's say we're going to do a triangle over here. Once again, I'm just drawing the front of that object. Same thing happens, just like I checked the corners here and here. I'm going to check the top corner where it comes to a point. I can take that back. This back one back here is going to cut through, so I don't want to draw that in. And then this corner right here works, so I can draw that back. So now if we want to kind of crop these, just like we did on all the other boxes, instead of having a line that goes straight up and down or straight across, what I need to do is mirror the angle that I see here. So I'm going to use that same angle as the triangle on that side. And I'm going to move that back as far as I want that to go. And I'm going to draw that line. So as I move my ruler back, I tried not to move it so that it falls in line with that shape. Same thing as before. Do some cleanup work once I've drawn that in. And now I have a triangle shape. It's now a form instead of a, uh, a shape. This can work with round objects. So if you wanted to do like a cylinder in one point perspective, you can draw your circle, so your flat side of the object. Now when I try to draw my orthogonal lines, what I'm going to do is look for the farthest point on each of these. So if I have a point here, Line that up as far over as I can go. Same thing on this side. I'm going to line my vanishing point up with the farthest part over of that circle and draw a line down. So it does look like a cylinder, but it kind of looks like a cylinder that's going on forever here. So just like we mirrored this side here, or these sides here, or even this angle of this triangle, we have to look at the angle or the, the shape that we see here. So if this is a circle and we have these two points meeting here, the shape that we see is going to be something like this on the side. So what we have to do is kind of mirror the shape down here, which is actually going to end up getting kind of small. So once we do that, if I take this shape, wherever I want this to end, I'm essentially drawing kind of like a half circle down here at the bottom. And what, what happens there is it kind of copies the shape we see here, over here, feels like it's the other end of that object actually getting smaller. So that should start to look like a cylinder. If you want to make a box look like it's open, we can, you know, kind of continue on with what we were working on. So if we take one of these boxes and we want to look like it's open, like we can see inside of this box, what we can do is take that one corner that we didn't use. So if it's open, that means we're going to see into this side, the side that we couldn't use before. So what we're going to do is take that corner, line it up with the vanishing point. See that there? And we're going to draw that line back. I'm not going to draw it all the way. I'm only going to have it go into the box a certain distance. Except now I can see that this looks like it's going a little too far. I can see the corner 
back here lines up here and this corner lines here which means I'm probably gonna see part of that that back corner here so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back corner I'm gonna skip the top because I'm not gonna see through the top I'm just seeing into the box and I'm gonna draw a line down here in theory if I drew my box correctly these should hopefully line up so that I have a line that meets there. And then I can erase that extra line behind the box and I should have what looks like a box that's open. Remember value is always a good helper when it comes to making things look three-dimensional, adding depth and dimension. So I can go in and shade in my box, the inside of it. I can shade the sides in lightly. It's gonna help too. and that should help make my box look more, more dimensional when it's open. So you can do this technique with just about any form that you wanna create. You just have to keep in mind uh, where your vanishing point is and the shape of that object. So mimicking that shape as you recreate the side in the back.